Everyone heard about chess, or even knows how to play it. But did you know that the number of chess moves is greater than the number of atoms in the universe? You want to know why? Let's explore that in this video. Chess has been around for a very long time and is believed to be originated somewhere in India between the year 280 and 550. In 2012, it was estimated that there were approximately 605 million adult chess players in the world, which is a big number. But what is more astonishing is that the number of chess moves is greater than the number of atoms in the universe, or the total number of hairs on all human heads in the world, or the total grains of sand on Earth. So who figured this out? In 1949, a famous mathematician, Claude Shannon, presented a paper called Programming a Computer for Playing Chess to show that it was impossible for a computer of that time to calculate all possible combinations with 6 to 7 moves deep, let alone 15 to 20 moves ahead, including your opponent ones, which was typical for a world champion and defeat an opponent that way with brute force. He estimated that the total number of chess moves is in the order of 10 to the power of 120, which is now, by the way, called the Shannon number. Let's think about it for a moment. 10 to the 6 is a million and has 6 zeros. 10 to the power of 9 is a billion and has 9 zeros. 10 to the power of 12 is a trillion and has 12 zeros. Now. 10 to the power of 120 has an astonishing 120 zeros. Wow. Okay, how did he get to this number? In his paper, Shannon mentions that in a typical chess position, there are on average 30 legal moves that the player can make. So if a player makes the first move, which is called apply, and the other player makes the second, he would already have 30 times 30 is 900 game combinations. On average, a game lasts about 40 moves or 80 plies. Therefore, the number of possibilities would be 30 to the power of 80, which is 1.48 to the power of 118, which comes close enough to Shannon's number of 10 to the power of 120. You may ask yourself, where does this number of legal moves come from? Let's grab a chess board and analyze some legal moves. You can see that in the beginning, each pawn has two legal moves. Furthermore, the knights also can move in two directions. So in total, it seems that there are only 20 moves. The same thing would hold for the opposing player. However, as the game progresses, the number of legal moves starts to increase as more chess pieces will start to have more degrees of freedom because of different positions and pieces that are removed from the chessboard. At this point in the game, we have 36 legal moves left. So you may have noticed that the number of legal moves can vary a lot during the game. That's why the number of moves Shannon used was an average. And that average was obtained from a paper that was published by Dutch chess grandmaster Adrian de Groot, or as it is pronounced in Dutch, de Groot. De Groot mentioned in his article, in Denken van den Schaker, literally translated the thinking of a chess player in 1946, luckily I can read Dutch, that the number of moves a player can legally make ranges from zero to over 100. It's interesting that when I went through the article, it seemed to me that the median was around 38 moves on page 19, as opposed to the 30 moves that Shannon took for his calculation. Although I didn't read the entire article, as it was around 350 pages long, so I could be wrong. I'll leave, however, a link to the article for people that have some time on their hand and want to delve deeper into this. However, from my perspective, it seems that Shannon was on the conservative side with the 30 average moves. The following table shows at least for the first 10 moves a more accurate presentation of the actual number of possibilities that were calculated. 
you can see that the first ply starts with the 20 moves, as we have seen before, followed by 400 for the second ply. By the third ply, that number has already gone up to 8902. And after 10 plies, the number of games have already reached around 69.4 trillion. So next time you play chess, don't think you've already played the same game before or had some deja vu. It's very unlikely that that happened. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.